Hi, welcome or welcome back. Today we're going to have a big project. What I mean by that is this. I have bought a whole entire lampshade and I'm going to be painting it. So let's get into that. So I have had many, 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 many ideas for what I'm going to do with this. And I still haven't come up with a conclusion. So, I've gathered all my paints. And I'm going to hope to think of something on the way. And just as I was opening the first set of paint, it hit me. I'm going to do, not the four elements, but the four places. What I mean by that is one side's gonna be rainforest with an animal, a character I'll come up with on the way. The Arctic. The desert. And a volcano. And that's what I'm gonna do. So, for the rainforest, we obviously need grass, so we'll start with the green color. Time for the bottom. One problem, though. You see at the bottom, it's got a rim. And I'm going to paint that lastly. So, I'm going to dip my paintbrush in and start painting. It was surprisingly easy. Not completely easy, but it was easier than you'd think painting on a lampshade would be. <sighs> so, let's continue. wondering how I got this lamp. Well, actually my aunt bought it for me and I thank her for that. So now with the grass filled, we're going to need to add a little bit of detail. Okay, time to add some detail. Let's just kind of go in. It's already covering it. Amazing. It'll be fine. All right. We're just gonna kind of paint a little bit over here and cover it so it looks, well, it's gonna look better once we're finished. And yes, I will do touch-ups later. I'm getting a ton on the floor. Okay, let's add a little over here. And there we go. Time for the next color. Time to add some detail. That's almost good. Just gonna get a teensy bit more. We're almost done. Done. All right. And time for a few trees to the sides. All right. Let's add a tree right here. <laughs> a 
Okay, it is very difficult to paint on a lampshade. If you ever decide to do this, be sure to get like fabric paint. I personally do not have fabric paint. Pa fabric paint. Can't talk right today. Okay, let's finish up our tree. Okay, really bad tree, but we'll fix it. Okay, let's get this green and we'll find another green for jungle ropes. Okay, that sounded really weird. More of like a canopy. Okay, let's open up the paint and get to painting the tree. Okay. This paintbrush is really bad. It, yeah. <laughs> Let's just keep going. Okay. It looks great. Okay, and I will um, get a part two. So let's finish painting the details on the tree. Okay, I have added vines, and now it is time for the blue background. Let's do it. Okay. And now, time to add a special character. I'm going to be painting a peach monkey. This was one of my characters that was um, deleted. My video footage was lost. So this is a character that's gonna be new to you guys. So first let's start. Um, I did not name this peach monkey. I think I'm gonna name her Strawberry, even though she's peach. Um, so Strawberry here, she is an old peach monkey and she's always holding a banana. So let's put her here. She's going to be holding on to the vine and she's gonna have a wide grin on her face. So first let's mark out her details. Okay, so it looks horrible right now, but it's going to look better in just a little while. So I am going to do the feet and then the hands and then we will start adding the details. All right, she's looking a little better and let's outline her with a little more peach. And I have renamed her to Cotton Candy. I think that suits her a little better. All right, let's go over her one more time and then we'll do the details. Time for the details. And done. Finally, we'll wait for it to dry a little, and until then, touch-ups. All right, the last thing I need to do is add highlights and a little bit of touch-ups, and then I am done. All right, highlights first. Let's dip our brush in, and gotta be really careful with this. That is good. All right, and finally, we just need to touch up there and a little around the edges. So let's do that. All right, so here is the finished product. From this to this. So with that, the crafter is out.